Oh, um, hello buddy, the video wasn't originally having this planned, but just gonna let you guys know that while I will ramble a lot in this video, um, sorry if I sound a little off, I just got a cold, but I will ramble quite a bit in this video, and I will repeat myself quite a few times, but still I do talk about pretty much everything that's been going on, so just try to stick with it, and... <laughs> Well, I hope this serves as a good enough explanation. You can, I'll include the link to our Discord in the description, and you can hit us up on there if you have any questions. Anyway, enjoy the video. Hello, everyone. It's not art. <laughs> I am doing this on both my channel and his, probably. But the point of this video is letting you guys know something and that something is when we're going to be able to get back and why it's been taking so long and i'm not just going to gloss over everything like how it has been done in the previous taking a break videos but i will tell you that definitely without a doubt soon we will be able to work on this it all began with a while back Art's computer just stopped working. Editing was a pain, and it just wasn't even just the playback. While recording, his computer slowed the heck down even when running the first Half-Life. We could barely do anything, and recently we tried beating Half-Life in one sitting, but it didn't work due to recording issues. Mostly on his end, but a few were on my end too, which I will admit. But unfortunately... A lot of things have been happening with school that I'm not going to go into too much detail here. He can choose to tell you guys about that. But a lot of things have been happening, and just over and over again, his PC, he just hasn't been able to get it for one reason or another. But it is coming. He is going to be able to get it by the end of November, or I think by the beginning of November. I don't remember. But regardless, all we can really do is wait and more things, making the 7-Eleven roleplay, it's not like we don't want to. It's not like we've given up. It is super fun. It is great, but there's also might take a long time for part two to get finished. Part three, rather. Part two's already done. <laughs> but the reason why it will take so long is because of something. Basically, the 7-Eleven roleplay was a series that was started due to many, many different factors, and in order to explain any of this, I have to explain its creation, and to explain that, I have to explain how Art and I met. So, I was about 7 or 8 at the time, and I was playing on a Gary's Mod murder server that he happened to be, I think, the admin on, and, yeah, I was playing on it, and, um... We stuck together a lot. I never wound up being the murderer, and there were some really funny moments, especially because I didn't own Counter-Strike, so I RDM'd anyone who pulled out anything that remotely resembled an error because I couldn't see the knife. But it was, it was great, and we eventually decided to friend each other, and I asked him if he wanted to play a sandbox game and just goof around for a while, and he said, sure, I could record. So we just kind of goofed around in character for a while. I knew he was recording. And um, we just did some stuff. And he does everything for the 7-Eleven roleplay. Like, he, he does the scene building. He does the props. He does all that. I'm the one who does the story. And some moments he does um, also interject with the story. You can see that in the end of the 7-Eleven roleplay part 2. He, um... <laughs> really pushed for the whole gnome thing, but basically, long story short, um, both of us, he, I admit that I couldn't make the 7-Eleven role play on my own, and I admit that I couldn't do all of the, like, scripting and editing and all that, and he also admits that he can't do this story and we require each other for that but um sometimes we've had some creative differences and 
that has really slowed down development times because I can do a lot on my end, but we've just been kind of arguing about the st what the story could possibly be. And um, we've been coming up with ideas, and we've kind of been um, frustrated that basically we said that every other episode I would get to direct it, and I would get to completely write the story for it and take over completely, and he'd have my own old role of just kind of interjecting. And back then, when I had that role, I still came up with most of the story because he liked my ideas a lot. But the problem, the main problem in this lies in the fact that we need, we need more time to get this done, and you guys have been awesome being so patient. <laughs> um... I have gotten a new microphone, as you can see, so if you've seen any videos on my channel, um, then you'd know that my voice doesn't sound, like, horrible anymore. But regardless, we're working, we're trying as hard as we can, and we're sorry that it's taking this long, but it's just a lot of factors. We've both been super busy with school stuff and, like, maybe being grounded or something like that. We've both had a lot of things going on in our lives currently, and we've both had just a lot of things going on. I've personally had a lot of family stuff going on, so I haven't really been able to do any work on my end on, like, the story. And whenever me and Art do sit down and talk about it, we always argue about an original idea that I had way back when, which, um, I might cut this part out if... He doesn't think I should reveal this. I'll cut out this entire part. In fact, I'll even cut out me saying I'll cut it out. But basically, we had this idea to, like, parody a different random popular anime or TV show opening and thus that for and the actual show for one episode. And I wanted to do Neon Genesis Evangelion because it was very great and I saw a lot of potential parody material there. Especially since we introduced a Pingu doll, so I wanted to make it into a giant robot. And he really liked that idea at the time, but now... Um... I was surprised to log into Discord and see he uploaded the teaser trailer for the 7-Eleven Roleplay Part 3. And it was nothing like the original story we had. And he didn't consult me at all. So we had a bit of a creative scuffle over that, and that has caused a short falling out where the two of us couldn't get any work done. And we tried to work on our own projects separately for a bit, but it didn't work out. So in the end, we're trying. It's really hard to do this last time. But I promise you it won't take two years this time. Insert a clip of Art shouting, it's only been a year and a half. But yeah, it's only been half a year so far, so thank you for being patient. These things take time. We are going to be hard at work. I'm hard at work already since I am currently trying to come up with ideas with art. And we're coming up with story stuff, and once we've come up with a story, there's just a lot of steps we might do. I know we were planning on uploading a behind-the-scenes for part two of the 7-Eleven roleplay. I found all the behind-the-scenes footage lying around on my computer just kind of floating around but yeah regardless that's been what's going on and i hope everyone um can remain to be as awesome as you guys have been being so far and be sure to if you're watching this on my channel go over to arts channel and support the 7-eleven roleplay because that is our main project and that is kind of the product of us meeting and while there are some pretty funny videos like the two of us playing Gary's Mod Horror Maps I do think that's the greatest achievement either of us have ever made and when it comes to why I haven't made videos on my channel it's the same reason I have been hard at work on the 7-Eleven roleplay and I'm actually working on a project for my channel um, that I use for like animations and machinima and stuff which is Frostpelt Productions all that's on there right now is like a casting call to for a Warriors animation that I thought was a good idea to make, but I honestly knew nothing about animation or anything like that back then. 
I did have a very talented voice actress, however, who had a very high quality microphone and fit a character perfectly, so I might keep her for a future project. But regardless, that is the reason for the delay of both our channels, in fact, all three of our channels. And, yeah. So, I have been Ty, and I hope to see you guys next time.